Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial on the rest of the last three farms for the cobblestone generator and the wood farm powered with TNT to destroy it. Will not be done today. So today we're just doing these three. And I will leave a link for a fantastic one I found on the cobblestone and wood. Hope you enjoyed today's video. So let's start today's video off with the bamboo slash sugarcane flowering in machine powered farm. So for this build, you're going to need sticky pistons, regular pistons, observers, slime blocks or honey blocks, immovable objects, I'm using furnaces, well anything but I'm using glass, um, something to build anything on, I'm just using walls in this case to help with redstone, tracks and some other stuff, rail, powered rail, hoppers, redstone blocks or any type of power source, redstone torches, something to store all the crops in, I'm using a chest, redstone repeaters, redstone dust, and hopper minecarts. But for the plants, you're either going to need just bamboo, you don't need anything else other than the grass obviously, just bamboo, but if you want to do sugarcane, you're going to need slabs, obviously water, sugarcane, and some type of leaf, because I think it looks the best. So let's start by building the enclosure for where you're going to be putting your bamboo or your sugarcane or both. So I'm going to be using glass, so I'm going to quickly build this enclosure. By the way, I'm making a much smaller design than that one, as this is for just a build. You can make this as large as you want, and you can make it, this is the total width, so this is the max you can have it. From the flying machine, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 blocks. And I recommend you put like a glass pane or something on the end of the block, as it then doesn't stick to it, but you get an extra length in the flying machine. So now I'm going to quickly build this enclosure. Now that you've built the enclosure, I've made a shortened version, not as tall. But if you're going to do bamboo, you want to make it to this max block height, which I'm pretty sure is like 12 or 14. Um, but for sugarcane, you only need to really make it three blocks tall, as that's the highest sugarcane grows. And you don't have to put a roof roof on it. In this case, I have put a roof on it for this build, as to stop the bamboo growing too tall in this enclosure to make sure it all gets in. But in this demonstration, I'm not going to be building a roof to save time. So now we need to get the immovable objects. So I'm using furnaces. So we need to build across, destroying all this glass. So it has an area to take the arm of the flying machine that goes along and harvest the stuff. Then just go one block out from the enclosure like so and destroy all these glass blocks. Just get in there, destroy that, come out, and just build furnaces all the way along the length. By the way, if you do not want to have the arm just go in and you want to make this a 7 with the two blocks and another 7 with two arms, you can make the entire thing in the enclosure, it's just in this case I'm doing it like this, but you can just put the fly machine in the enclosure to save space and um, resources because you won't be needing as much glass or furnaces you'll only need the furnaces at the end to make sure that nothing gets wasted because if if you have crops wasted it's not very good and just destroy these glass going across and just place these here to stop the flying machine from going too far now let's actually build the flying machine so the flying machines are quite easy so don't worry always get observers sticky pistons and slime blocks but you can use honey blocks so we're going to place a slime block here, oh, here, and here, with an observer here, then a sticky piston there, on this side, an observer, sticky piston, and then two slime blocks, and that should create a fly machine. You place a block, and you have a fly machine that goes all the way down to the end. Destroy this furnace, and this block. Then come back in here and add the arm onto your flying machine. You can either use a glass block or glass pane or anything like just a regular block there. I just use a glass block, but you can use glass panes. So then when you do this, 
it doesn't stick to the wall. So we'll just fly right across and it should stop at the end here. Don't worry about that jumping off, it will be fixed. So then we just, if we get it to reattach by doing it like so, place a furnace here to stop it and you're good. Just bring this back. I ah, just like destroy this block and replace it with fences. Then go back. And it should go all the way to the end. Now let's do the little send back feature. So if we go here and we activate this one, it's gonna be a bit laggy. But if we go to the other end, we have this little device here that pushes it back. So for this you're gonna need a regular piston. And something to build on with redstone dust and a repeater. So if we go to the flying machine over here, there's an observer coming down from the observer, a block underneath it, one block across, place a repeater set to four ticks, then place a block up, redstone dust on it, and then place a regular piston facing upwards, and that will send it back that way. Now if we get on the other end, if we just trigger this, this block there. Once it gets sent down the other end, we'll just wait for it to get down there. Place an observer down from the observer again. Block, lock across, repeat it, set to four ticks, lock up, redstone dust, and a piston. And if we just activate that, now we, this piston fly machine will go backwards and forwards, doing a little round of crop harvesting. But if you do that, the crops may not grow as well, or if you want to save lag, it might not be the best idea for you. So in this case, I'm going to put a lever here and power that. And now that flying machine will stay put. So now we're going to do a little stump all the stuff in here. Now we're going to do the minecart tracks going into it. So let's quickly build the tracks. Now this can be a bit tricky as railway is in the rails and that can be a bit annoying at times. But just build a row of blocks, one block underneath the dirt then come down another block and just build blocks going across I recommend you leave a one block gap with all the gaps so then you can work your way up with rails and then you can work your way up with other rails you'll see what I mean in a minute because that may sound confusing so we'll just build up to the end like so and then one more block so then so then the hoppers don't stay above this come across and then replace all these end blocks you've just done with hoppers. Just build a line of hoppers going across. Then place a block up with a block with blocks going all the way across. Now get into that little groove that we've just done. Go to the end, place a power drill. I recommend you place three, destroy the middle one, redstone block, and then just build rails all the way across until you get down to the end and then place a powered rail on that hopper then do the same here just build powered rails and regular rails all the way down and the reason we've done this groove is so you can do every other one and then when you come down once you've done that one you can place a rail redstone block regular block rail block rail then just continue this down and the rails will not connect to each other causing problems and building problems especially because it can be very annoying to build these at times then we'll just put a pad rail there block there come up and just place a regular rail there and there you are now we'll do the same on the other last two on the last two on the other side pad rail all the rest block two power rails and just build regular rails going all the way across the power rail at the end do it same again as we did just now block rail block rail and just continue this pattern until we get down to the end and place a powered rail come place a block come around and then place a regular rail now when you place that regular rail it might be a bit tricky you might just have to do it here so you just place it easily but in my case I can reach from here now we just need to create the actual system that powers the hoppers so all it is is you come down one block from underneath the send back loop 
place a redstone dust underneath then come down one more and then set a line of repeaters I recommend you set a couple of ticks not too many and block that up one more actually and a block up redstone dust and then redstone dust across all this but then you want to get redstone torch and go up here place a block over redstone torch there and move that lever to here so it does not power the powered rails and then all you have to do is place your hoppers on there place the hoppers on, on top hop of minecart sorry and if we just move that out of my inventory turn this off hop of minecart gets shot once and when they get back they'll start unloading all the crops that they may have got on as the flying machine went across place a chest there and then when they get back Alright, sorry, you want to place this lever with a button I recommend, just place a button there, and when it comes back, once this observer checks it, a couple of seconds later, our minecast will go off again, come back, and then have all the crops in here. Now let's do the crops, which is quite easy, the sugar cane, or the bamboo actually, is a lot easier, it's simply just place a ton of it. Do not harvest when it's like this though, because it won't do anything, it just won't simply harvest. But you can see it, it grows quite quickly. You can do that for all of it, or part of it. And with the sugarcane, you just build a simple little line of sugarcane. This block, oh yeah. Come one block in, place slabs along it, go outside. You want to place blocks on where you're going to have the slabs obviously to stop water running out. So every other two except for the beginning, so just come out here. They shouldn't interfere with the fire machine, I've got those blocks there. So just place a couple blocks across like so. One more across. Then we'll go over, and now it goes. Now the water won't be able to escape. We'll just place slabs. And the reason we're using slabs and not just placing water sources is so to allow oops to not have to have one block under for the water we could just have it all one block thick to do the entire sugar cane with the water log block then just simply place all the sugar cane down and then just wait for it to grow and that is pretty much it now when this grows all you have to do is just activate it or you can set it onto a daily clock now for probably the simplest farm in this lineup of farms and this is the honeycomb or honey bottle farm which uses obviously bees i'll throw a clip of my world in bedrock this is going to be sped up as this the clip is very long and i don't want to talk for too long but this is a clip of my world on bedrock in survival where i have the bees with the farms with them automatically with these automatic bee farms with my crops especially it's very helpful to do stuff and to get automatic honeycomb and bottles but with the bottles you'll obviously have to replace the bottles in there because the shears they will last a very long time but the bottles won't last too long if it's continuous after a long time just chuck in tons of bottles and you should be okay but obviously you want to quickly like check like every once in a while to make sure there's plenty of bottles unless you have a massive storage of bottles that are constantly going into the dispenser at the back with like maybe hoppers just going along and it dispenses some glass bottles into it so for this quick tutorial you're going to need redstone dust observers dispensers any type of building block minecart with hopper and any type of rail i'm just using powered rails in this instance something to store the honey in a beehive or bee nest and a hopper but if you want to make it look, look a little bit nicer get some stairs of the same block type and i recommend some trap doors i recommend spruce for this but you can do use anything now let's start with actually building the entire thing which is quite easy i'm not going to be building the entire enclosure as that would be well you don't need to build the enclosure you could just have this 
in the open. I just built the enclosure for convenience, not having bees flying around and maybe going to the sugarcane area for that block area. So let's put a chest down. You do not have to use chests. You can, well, you don't have to use the chest on site. You can use anything. Uh, you could like set this into your storage system using hoppers or something. But you but in this case, I'm just using like on, like on site storage, which is a chest. But a hopper into the back of it with a rail on top with a hopper minecart on it. Then come up one block, put a dispenser facing towards the minecart. Destroy that block, place a beehive, then place a block with a observer go into it, and then two bits of redstone. Now, if you want to make this look a bit nicer, as it looks a bit odd, I recommend you some stairs. We'll just quickly dump the rest of this stuff away. Get some stairs and get some slabs. Put the stairs right underneath the dispenser as they're fallen, which is annoying. Place a stair, then just place slab um, trap doors going all the way around. Do not destroy the chest like me. This isn't going very well. Destroy it. Also, sorry for the loud keyboard noises. This will be gone as this has happened as I got a new mechanical keyboard and it's quite loud. So I will work on getting rid of the noise, don't worry guys, I will start adding filters that should be able to get rid of that keyboard noise, or if I have to I'll edit it, not fully edit it out of myself, but do something. Just build across, like so. Now do not place a spruce tr trap door here and close it, unless the minecart is facing that direction, like not like this, with the rail facing in this direction but it's fine with it open anyway and just place a another trap door on the observer and if you really want to you can go full cover but you will have a problem with uh, the redstone going off and you destroy these trap doors here sorry as that redstone goes off and it will activate them unless you want them to open you want to get rid of those so i think that makes the beehive thing look a lot nicer the next farm is this crop powered farm with the villagers that automatically harvest it and give you all the potatoes, wheat or carrots that you desire. I recommend you pair this with the honeyed bee farm as you will be able to get your crops to go quicker as the bees help grow crops. For this tutorial you are going to need grass obviously or uh, dirt actually, glass, oak planks or anything to really build on, any type of trap door, a bell, Hopper minecarts, hoppers, chests, and any type of plant that, of these three, so carrot, potatoes, or wheat. In this case, I'll use potatoes. Do not put these like mixed in. If you're going to have one, only do that one. And if you're going to have another, then put them in separate enclosures areas as it will help. As the, especially with the wheat and that, they will make it all the all the potatoes and carrots away and the seeds they, they really just get confused and don't know which one to plant so they may have a problem planting you're also going to need water for this as it's farm as it's farm area and you may need a composter to get the villager to turn to a farmer so simply this farm is actually easier to build than you may think so first we are going to obviously place down the bell and the bell what that does is that is a meat area so when it's meat time in the village of the regime they'll go to the bell now if we can put that away we need a trap door glass and a hopper and a minecart and a chest these hopper where the crops go you can make this go anywhere i'm just gonna make it go to a chest down here as for convenience for this little demonstration but you're obviously going to be like having a good storage system you're going to need rails to place down these hopper minecarts so quickly just place down a rail with one hopper minecart, then destroy the block underneath, then do it again. So you get two on top of each other, then place a block above them, and then get a trap door on that block. So then the villagers can't get past, but they think they can. You need to use trap doors here, as the path is clear, so they get to the bell, but they actually can't get there. 
So if they throw anything, obviously you'll just get in this chest. Now with that, that is pretty much actually it. So if you just get a villager and a composter, you want to place the first villager here and then place a composter in a little area out. Just place the composter and he does to a farmer. Yep. Then just place a another villager in there. And that's pretty much it. As he, he's going to him as it's meat time. I feel I have the time locked. Just hoe this area, place water, and then just place your plant. And that's it for today's video. Now I want you guys to give me a bit of feedback in the sense you may have heard music in the background which I think may help keep you guys watching the videos. So if you guys enjoy the music in the background let me know by leaving a comment saying if you enjoy it or not. And also the farm behind me which is the stone and wood farm. I can give you a tutorial on this but it's not going to be as in depth or as good because it's not the best design. I threw this together just as a demonstration for the farm video to like show you the best farms. I'm going to leave a link right now to a good farm for stone, concrete and wood which is made by Mumbo Jumbo which is a lot better which is as it's a better design and it we it may work better for you guys. It's a bit more resources than this but it'll, it'll definitely help you and it's a bit more well it's a bit better designed like I said this was just made quickly. So anyway I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye guys.